Welcome, my name is Nick. This is To The Frickin' Point Friday. And today we're getting to the frickin' point about how to make your colors pop and isolate a color in Adobe Premiere Pro, kind of like the movie Sin City. I'm putting out quick tips and tutorials every week. If you dig it, please subscribe below. All right, we are in Adobe Premiere and we're gonna go over to our effects panel over here on the left hand side, click in the box and type in a leave color. And then go down here under color correction and select a leave color and then click and drag that over to your corrective layer. I have an adjustment layer here that I've made and drop it on there. And now make sure that's selected and you're gonna go up here to your effects control and inside of there you're gonna see leave color, okay? and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this little eyedropper, the color to leave eyedropper, come over here, select your color, boom, and then you're gonna go up to amount to decolor and you can slide that up. So if I slide that all the way up to 100, you can see the background is now nice and black and white, okay? And you wanna play with the match colors using RGB versus using hue, because that's gonna change a little bit on the background here. Um, depending on what you're doing, that's gonna influence things. So I personally end up using hue often. And then you wanna also play with your tolerance. Um, if you boost that all the way to 100, uh, that changes the background a bit more compared to, um, let's do two. And you can see that the background's really all the way down to zero. And that's really kind of messing up the sign here actually. So you gotta find where it's gonna work for you. So you're able to isolate the color all the way down to where you want it to be exactly by adjusting these parameters and you can really suck out the rest of the colors in the image except for the one color you're trying to isolate. In this situation, I was actually shooting this for a long-term client of mine, The Truth, and their brand color is orange and they had organized a zombie march. And so I really wanted to use the leave color effect in some capacity, not its total capacity, to give this footage of the undead, uh, a kind of this eerie look. So if I click in here, you can see that, here I'll turn off my Lumetri, and then over on the left here, I have 45% for my amount of decolor, I have 5% tolerance, and I'm using hue. So you can see it is sucking out some of that, but not all of it. And then once I pop on my uh, Lumetri color, it really brings the whole thing to life and it's emphasizing the orange. It's not sucking it out completely, but I'm using it to emphasize the brand color, but also give the zombies this undead look. I've actually used one of my zombie LUTs and if you guys are interested in getting your very own copy of a zombie LUT, then check out below in the description, there are links to my LUTs on my website. You guys can go check those out. Anyways, that's how you do this. You can use it in its full capacity. You can use it in its half capacity to emphasize your color looks. It's a really cool trick and it's super, super easy. Before you take off, if you dig this video, please drop a comment below. I really enjoy responding to comments and starting a conversation, so please do that below. If you like it, give the little thumbs up a clickity clackity. If you aren't, so if you aren't subscribed, it's free, you can click the button below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.